phrase and class. First of all, definition. Okay, definition. A friend, phrase is a group of words without a finite verb. A phrase is a group of a group of words. Without a finite verb. Without. Without finite verb. For example, an intelligent girl. First example, an intelligent girl. An intelligent girl. A costly pen. A costly chain you can write it down. Okay? Costly pen or chain, whatever it, it may be according to the sentence. An interesting story. An interesting story. So this sentence is not complete, isn't it? So we have to add something. Then only we can uh, finish that sentence and it is a it will give a meaningful sense, isn't it? So uh, this one is phrase. Group of words without see group of words without finite verb. That is called a phrase. Okay. What is mean by phrase means? You have to know with uh, this definition. You have to see these examples. If you go through so many examples, you can identify this definition and you can make it arrangement and you can uh, know how to write phrase. Phrase is uh, nothing but it is easy for you to learn also. Next one is class. The phrase and class always it will uh, students may uh, worried about that, how to write what's very difficult like that and not students will think so if now always uh, the book is given so many exercises with the example also so you can easily learn class class also like that a class is a group of words which consists of five minute words a class is Definition under in your book is given, you can learn and you can buy part also. Then all of you, whenever you go to this phrase and classes, you can write it well. If you go to higher classes and you never forget this formulas, okay? Consists of a finite word. Here, three sentences given. One is, a girl who is, a girl who is, a girl who intelligent. A girl who intelligent. Second one. Already this one, uh, did I say miss? Already this one, uh, did I say? Oh no. A uh, chain. Because half of the uh, sentence only, I said, isn't it? Costly. See the above sentence, uh, what I gave for phrase. Same way, here, class sentences, you see. Only half of the sentence is given. A story, third one. A story, which is, which is interesting. A story, which is interesting. Okay, this kind of sentences, it mentioned as a class. Okay, here in your book is given kinds of phrases. The phrase has so many kinds of, uh, only three kinds of phrases here. Adjective phrase, adverb phrase and noun phrase. Noun phrase. So here all these three titles under the examples also given, you can go through it. 
so each one adjective phrases it is a group of words that does not work an adjective that does not work an adjective it describes as a noun we bought chain made of wood of our auditorium we bought chairs we bought chairs okay these these three sentences under class so now uh, these uh, three kinds of phrases is there no adjective phrase in that under that one example is given we bought chairs made of wood of our auditorium okay so here made of wood is uh, uh, that is called adjective phrase understand same way adverb phrase is given for that one definition an example is given that also you can go through here adverb uh, phrase that example is given when the patient was taken to the emergency emergency ward the doctors rushed there in a hurried manner so here also uh, adverb phrase is given okay noun phrase in a third one is noun phrase which acts as a noun noun phrase which acts as a now a girl of class 10th standard became a housekeeper captain a girl of 10th standard became the house captain have you understood these are the two types of phrase and class okay and uh, classes and also three kinds of classes is given no adverb class noun class and adjective class the adverb class is it modified the verb it tells something about the action second one the students uh, example the students were sitting quietly in the classroom <coughs> okay until the teacher arrived the students were sitting quietly in the classroom until the teacher arrived it speaks about the time of action until the teacher arrived means it show, it shows it speaks about the time of action understand okay second one a noun class it functions as a noun noun class always it functions as a noun example whoever wins the contest will get a prize whoever wins the contest will get the prize and third one adjective class it acts as an adjective and describes as a noun example i went to the place where i was born i went to the place where i was born here it describes the place okay uh, uh, kinds of classes it will give uh, the book is given simple sentences only so when you grow go through daily and you can identify the sentence how to change it and how to make uh, how to differentiate class and phrase have you all understood uh, um, exercises you do it and also uh, what i want to tell you is Uh, every day read english uh, when you read the passage or story uh, you will you can find out the adjectives adverbs noun and uh, everything you can see there in the paragraph itself so when you read take a pencil and keep it in a, uh, each line and mark it this is adjective this is adverb like that if you uh, sentence wise para wise if you are making marking if you know the meaning of that uh, noun adjective uh, adverb preposition everything you can uh, understand easily okay the main idea and main uh, clue i am giving you uh, if you know grammar if you want to know grammar uh, well means you have to speak english if you are speaking english the grammar topic is very easy for you wherever mistake is there we can easily correct it, correct it okay so you don't want to worry about and you don't want to mug it up thank you for watching